Welcome everybody, my name is John. Welcome to my new website, Large Format Life, and my new YouTube channel. I have another channel which is cooking related. I am a chef and I created a channel largely to share tips and recipes and things with friends, but it is out there. We'll talk about it later. To give you an idea about me and my photography, uh, Lyndon Johnson was president the first time I took a photograph. I was in junior high working professionally as a darkroom technician the first time I took a large format photograph. I've got a lot to talk about. Today we're going to talk about film holders. I don't want to talk about you're doing it wrong. I hate those videos where somebody comes up with something new, some hack, and they start saying, well, you're doing it wrong. That's rude. It's not right. If it's working, you're doing it right. There might be a better way. That's what we're going to talk about is some better ways. But this is a quick fix for some problems I'm seeing with large format film holders. We'll get into tips and tricks and things I've learned. And I understand every new generation has to make something their way. That's if you're a new guy just into it or if you're an old guy just into large format. You want to make it your way. You want to learn what you do. And that's great. That's how the art grows. If it wasn't that way, we would be doing it the same way guys were doing it 130 years ago. Nothing would have changed from post-Civil War times. We've got to make it our way. We've got to learn something new. But don't throw out the knowledge of the past. A lot of the things I'll talk about are how we're trying to reinvent the wheel. We're wasting time, effort, and most especially money reinventing the wheel. Well, I'm talking about a quick fix for problems I'm seeing with your film holders. I'm seeing guys fighting and struggling to get these out. This is a dark slide. It's not a flippy thing. It's not a dark blocker. It's all kinds of goofy names. Let's get the nomenclature right. This is a dark slide. They should slide in nice and smooth. This one doesn't. I'm seeing a lot of you guys fighting with this. You're struggling and trying to get them back in. And that, when it's in the camera, can be damaging the camera. Also, when you open the loading door, there's a piece of tape here. That's your hinge. These should lay out nice and flat to allow you to load the film in nice and evenly. This one doesn't, and I'm seeing a lot of you guys showing how you do your film, how you do your film holders. They're binding up, they're grabbing, they're catching. This is rough. This has got little bits of grit impregnated into that tape. This film holder's got some issues. And you guys are damaging your film, you're scratching it, you're fighting, you're having trouble because of a simple problem with your film holders, and I'm gonna show you the greatest solution in the world. First, pull your dark slides out and set them aside. See how tough that is? This has got problems. There's felt in here. That makes that light tight seal so light doesn't get past your film holders, or your dark slides, doesn't get into the film. This one's got some problems. Here is the simplest, easiest solution in the world for a worn, dirty, damaged dark film holder. Problem solved. There are millions of these available for five to seven dollars a piece in great shape. eBay, KEH, B&H Photo, they're all over the place. Quit messing around with a busted film holder that's scratching that precious film. It's a dollar or two in film, but the effort, the time, the creative work you put into creating that image is garbage with a garbage film holder. We'll talk about what to do with these in another video. These are precious in the darkroom. Hey, I hate the, the like and subscribe garbage. I'm not going to monetize this channel. I'm not sponsored by anybody, even though I will talk about brands. But if you think I might have a little bit to offer you after close to 50 years in photography, like, subscribe, it just makes other people, it makes it easier for other people to find it. If you want high production values, if you want intros, if you want music, you're in the wrong place. If you're easily offended, get out now. I don't want to offend, I try not to offend, but I might give my opinion, which some thick skin or thin skinned people might not like. I got a lot of great stuff to talk about. I've debated should I do this for a long time, but I'm seeing a lot of people struggling with simple problems that previous generations figured out. And because we had this gap in large format photography, when we went from digital to now, there's been a gap before this resurgence. I think I can fill in a few gaps. If you like this, like and subscribe, come back 
I'll see you next week. Thanks.